Today, senior administration officials will hold a call to discuss the White House's launch of the U.S. Digital Service. I assume that this is going to be read in like the movie trailer voice. Yeah. Or else the My name is Mikey Dickerson. I'm in D.C. to uh, be the new administrator of a new thing which has just been created called the U.S. Digital Service. So how's day one? We're uh, 15 minutes into it. Surviving so far. This is the first time I've had a first day of a new job where, like, uh, go to orientation. Welcome to the executive office of the president. Except for you don't really have time to finish orientation because we're going to do your press conference, which is at 1230. Uh, so I'm like, okay, I've been in the government for all of two hours. We haven't sworn in yet, even. Oh, the parking forms. Yeah, right. you're right. No, I haven't done that yet. So they said that it would be ready. First problem, the password you have typed is too short. Okay, we're gonna deal with this later. For me, this whole government adventure started last October when uh, I got asked to be part of the group that worked on healthcare.gov, uh, which of course everybody's heard of. Uh, it was going very poorly at the time. There was a sufficient number of engineers, programmers, designers, everything you needed was already there, had been hired onto the project somewhere. Uh, they just needed to be coordinated and, and managed better, basically, is what we did. And that times 10 or more uh, is the next challenge that they came along and said, well, that, was, that seemed to go pretty well, so why don't we try to do that for all of the agencies and all of the federal government? What we saw during healthcare you know, with folks like the like others, was how a fairly concentrated group of innovators, as long as they had a clear direction from the White House, could actually transform something pretty quickly. Digital technology has clearly revolutionized so many aspects of our lives. It's important that the full power of that digital revolution hit government, and it hasn't yet. And uh, uh, you know, the opportunity for someone like Mikey uh, and for all the rest of us um, who have signed up to serve. The opportunity is, is to have not just impact at scale, but impact with meaning. Interacting with the government shouldn't be a thing that you automatically dread. Uh, things like, like filing your taxes. This is like on the list of things that people put in, that usually mention in the same sentence as like uh, going to the dentist and stuff like that, right? And it's probably never gonna be exactly fun, uh, but, uh, but a lot of like, Look at the experience people had trying to sign up for healthcare.gov at first. Things like that should be a process that you go through and immediately forget about because it wasn't any big deal. And all of your other interactions with the government could be that smooth. Like we have a lot of bad UI experiences that could go away. If we are a smash success, then a few years from now, you won't even know that we exist. You won't even remember that we ever existed uh, because government technology is basically fine. So this stuff is being done with digital service some hot shots, uh, I knew they were around now. <laughs> They're starting to look official now, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> They've got suits and everything. <laughs> this is literally only because you're here. <laughs> I am not making this up. I'll put together a whole package if I have to of like uh, the Facebook posts and the comments on the internet and the like emails that I get and like from people who know me and people who don't uh, who want to know if I'm wearing a suit to work every day uh, because that's just the quickest shorthand way of asking is this the same old business as usual uh, or are they actually going to listen? Uh, like that's that's just a shortcut at getting at that question is how a lot of engineers think about it It was important to a lot of the people that I recruited to work on healthcare.gov First thing everybody wants to ask is well is he wearing suits now because he's totally sold out and Oh, that's in interesting. Yeah, like, okay, so. my vote no suits Excellent. <laughs> Based on healthcare.gov yeah. performance yeah. your performance there do it do, do the same play over and over again Great. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll roll with that then people are putting up with me walking around DEOB and the West Wing just wearing whatever. I mean, not quite whatever. I'm not wearing a t-shirt. I made some slight concessions. I'm wearing actual shirts with buttons and collars, but uh, that's about where we're at right now.